on today's Techno Babble, troubleshooting techniques using a multimeter. This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Techno Babble. This is the show where every week I help you with video and graphic design for the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to join the conversation, so just do that below the video. Now, if you've subscribed to the podcast, which you can do either as an audio podcast or a video, uh, by going over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe, there's no video for you to leave it under. It's just delivered automatically for free to your device or your computer. So, um... How do you do that? No problem. Just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash TNB, short for Techno Babble, and there you can leave your comment. So previously, we talked all about making invisible things visible. Uh, one good way to do that is if you're shooting IR out of a remote, for example, you're not sure if it's good, you can simply use your smartphone camera. There are other cables that you can use to illuminate if you have electricity. But how about if you know you've got electricity, but you don't know if you've got enough electricity? How do you deal with that? Well, you use a multimeter. So I've got one here. This is a really cheap one. So if you're just getting started, I'm not sure the accuracy of these things, but uh, they're very inexpensive over at Harbor Freight. So you can pick one up there. And uh, let's take a look at all the functions. So here we have it. And first, let me turn it on. And you'll notice we've got uh, all zeros. Occasionally, it bounces a little bit. And the first thing that I want to do is give you just a little tour here. So we have DCV. That's DC voltage. Then we have ACV, AC voltage. Um, DC amperage over here, then we've got something right here if we wanted to test um, diodes, and then resistance over here with the ohms symbol, which is a Greek letter omega. So basically, in this style of multimeter, and there are auto-ranging multimeters that automatically show you how much you have even if uh, you don't check the range yourself. In this case, um, I'm going to be testing a 9-volt battery. This is just a cheap 9-volt battery that I picked up at the dollar store, actually. And so I've moved it to 20. That gives me the range of 10 to 20 volts, something like that. So what I'm going to do is take that, take my probes, which are these little doohickeys here, and black is negative, so I'm going to touch it to that guy, and red is positive, so I'm going to touch it there, and you'll see that we have 9 point, uh, 9, 8, you know, so in the 9 volt range. So that tells me that this battery is in fact good. So that's one of the things you can test. Another great thing that you can test by using the um, resistance or the ohms setting is you can test if you've got continuity. Now, there are some meters, I've used a much nicer meter when I was in tech support, that had a little buzzer um, that you could use to test continuity with. But I found that this works perfectly well, and that is just touching those together. You can see that I've uh, there's no resistance or very little resistance between these two probes. So if I had a piece of wire and I wasn't sure if an electrical signal was getting from point A to point B, if I've got this one point, etc., on it, then that tells me something's wrong because I 
put her probe on one end and her probe on the other, and it still says that, I've got a short. If, on the other hand, it's showing me a number, that tells me that, in fact, electricity is able to get through there. But there's something else that it can also tell me. It can also tell me that while electricity can get through there, maybe there's a lot more resistance than you would think. So that's something else for you to consider is you can, with this particular uh, set of tests, you can test how much electricity is going through your system. You can test how much resistance you have in a piece, whether it's too much, too little, etc., or by going through to this set, uh, setting the DC amperage and typically we're going to be in DC when we're doing testing on electronics. Uh, what comes out of the wall is AC but uh, as soon as it reaches the power supply most of the time it's switched over to DC for electronic pieces and parts. Not always but most of the time. So most of the time you're going to be on DC. So you can also check the amperage. So if you have a power supply that says it's a one amp power supply under load, you plug that in. In order to do that test, you'll have to split one of the wires and put these two probes in line. So um, that's something else for you to consider is you would have to do the test a little bit differently. So in line on the negative side or in line on the positive side and that will also allow you to do that test to see if you're, maybe you're getting enough volts, maybe the resistance isn't too great, but you're not getting enough amperage. So that could also cause the problem that you're seeing. So that's a really, really basic overview of the multimeter. The multimeter is capable of a lot more. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm just saying sometimes Licking the battery isn't the right test. Sometimes using a multimeter is. So go ahead and do that so you don't have to make this face. <sighs> Licking batteries, not good. Don't know why I did that. Okay. <laughs> If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and I'm working on some new ones. So if you've checked before and thought, eh, I'm not all that interested, you might find something a little more interesting in the upcoming days and weeks. Also, remember that this content is provided to you free of charge, and if you need church tape, uh, training resources. I'm always creating stuff to help you in your endeavor to either be more trained yourself or tr to train others. So head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store to pick up those resources. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. <laughs> <laughs>